Hello, it's Greg Otten here with MaritimeGardening.com and I thought I would do a follow-up on my uh, root cellar hack video. Uh, this is where I buried my uh, pickles around, uh, I guess it was August or late, se early September. I believe it was August, uh, early August, I think. I had um, far too many uh, uh, pickles in my uh, fridge. There was no room and I was using a lacto-fermentation method which uh, once the pickles are ready, you, you put them on your counter and they ferment for about a week and then you have to put them somewhere cool to shut that process down uh, and uh, put them in your fridge, but the fridge runs out of space. So uh, the solution was to uh, build a root cellar, but that's a lot of work and a lot of money and a lot of time. And I just said, why don't I just dig a hole and stick them in the hole? So that's what I did. They're all here. I got my fork. I'm going to do a taste test right here, live. So let's uh, let's see. I got three places where I've buried them. I've buried more since that video. So let's check this one out first. Ugh. Wow, you never even know anything was there. Did I really bury them here? Yes, I did. Ugh. Boy, that ground really reconstituted itself. What the heck is everything? All right, there's one. There's one jar right there. What's going on here? How deep did I go here? Ah, here we are. Okay. Now the great thing about this spot is that I can use it next year and the year after that and the year after that, right? Because once you dig, it all, once you dig a hole, it's easy to dig uh, subsequent holes. Boy, did I ever d bury that deep. Oh. There's a jar. And I see at least a couple more down there. Oh. Oh. I'm pulling them out now because my garage is cool enough to store these now. There's another one. I'm hoping these bags kept the lids from rusting. I think that's everything down there. Just fill that back up. Now, there's going to be something under here, too. Really should have worn some gloves, gloves for this. It wasn't very bright. But that's par for the course. Boy, is it cold down here. My hands are going numb. Kind of fun, you get like a buried treasure type thing. I think I see more plastic down there. So what's that so far? That's uh, five jars. Got another one here. Six jars. Maybe I can put them on top of here. The countertop. Oh, there's another one. Ooh, come on. There we go. There's a big, almost a gallon jar. Is that it? I think that's it. Boy, I hope that's it. All right. Pull that back in. I think there was only one in this hole. 
Yeah. All right. So here we go. All right. Just let me clean up my hands here. I should have really should have worn gloves. I'll be back in a second. All right. Let me just set this thing up here. Like a countertop. I'll put this stump right here. Okay. So, I don't know which one of these to try. Um, I don't want these to tip over. Just there. Anyway, I think this one was the original one I buried. So let me take this one out of the plastic and see what we, what we got from here. Those look immaculate to me. Those look perfectly stored. Let me bring this closer to the camera here. Boy, this is a dirty job. Dirty pants here, excuse the filth. This is real gardening, <laughs> not an actor. But uh, bring this a bit closer. Those look perfectly Preserved and intact. They look like beautiful pickles to me. I'm going to open a smaller jar just because I don't want to uh, open the big jar. <laughs> Let's save those for later. Um, let's see here, but this one. Looks fine. That cloudy appearance, that's uh, all lacto-fermented pickles have a cloudy thing going on. There's some zucchini in there. Um, I wouldn't recommend pickling zucchini. I tried it for the third and last time this year. And it's just, uh, in my opinion, zucchini makes a subpar pickle. Um, pickling cucumbers make good pickles. Probably because they're pickling cucumbers. All right, so let me just get these going here. These are the mason jars, a little bit of rust on the lid, but that's no big deal. Those look like beautiful pickles to me. Look at that. Beautiful. In the process of burying these probably took about 10 minutes. These are just old bread bags, <laughs> nothing fancy. Uh, and the, digging these holes will be even easier. These are perfectly fine. Digging these holes will be even easier next year because I've already dug the, I'll dug, just use the same hole. I might make it bigger and get it so that I can put a, a large plastic container with a lid here, maybe a piece of styrofoam on top. These are uh, pickled beans. All these are lacto-fermented. Nice looking beans. All right, so, uh, let's see if I can clean my, I'm a total mess here. Try to get myself a bit cleaned up. Uh, so we got our fork here. So let's try one of these babies here. Here from this jar. I'm not going to put this, i got a couple other videos I've made that need to be edited, so this will, won't be up for, this video won't be published for about a week, so either I'll be dead <laughs> or it'll be published. Oh, geez, that is on there. Holy smokes. Oh, good Lord, man. I'm gonna get that off. Oh. How about this guy? Oh. Well, I hope these didn't rust on. Uh, maybe I can whack it with something. That's making things kind of dirty. That is not awesome. Oh my goodness, that does not want to come off. What if I 
to hang it upside down a bit. There we go. Something just happened there. There we go. Broke the seal. All right. Smells. Oh, whoops. Smells pickly to me. Smells fine. Smells completely fine to me. Let me sterilize my fork here. All right, there we go. So let's grab one here. Oh, I wish my hands were a little cleaner. Anyway, first impressions, it's firm. It seems really firm. Bring it a little closer to the camera here. It looks like a perfectly fine pickle. Nice and green on the inside, basically the same, same color all the way through. Lacto fermented pickle. I mean, I've eaten a lot of these, but I've never buried them in the ground and tried them, so let's see. It's crunchy, it's salty. Hmm. It's a good pickle. Yep, that totally worked. I mean, <laughs> unless I keel over tonight or tomorrow, knock on wood. Uh, but, hmm. And it's a good pickle. And garlicky, salty. And now, something about lacto fermented pickles the acidity is different. It hits your palate in a different way. You have a pickle made with vinegar, it tastes acidic, but not in a way that's pleasant. Something about the lacto fermented ones, it's a different kind of acidity. Just has a, it's a different flavor, but also it just seems to hit your palate in a different way. Much more pleasing. Mm. Anyway, let me chew this up here. Oh man, that's good. That's a perfect pickle. Perfect pickle. <laughs> so, follow up on the root cellar hack for storing pickles, lacto fermented pickles. As far as I can tell, knock on wood, complete success. Works. I'll do it again next year. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe, uh, like, the, like the video, check us out on Facebook, check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching.